Almost 70% of Finns are members of the National Lutheran Church, but it doesn't mean they're believers. Less than a third of Finns now say they believe in God. This historically Christian nation has not only left the faith, but has begun criminal investigations of Christians. This is a nation with a constitution that still tells the state church to proclaim a Bible-based Christian faith. So why is Finland investigating this member of parliament for proclaiming her Bible-based Christian faith? Paivi Rosinen is under two investigations for allegedly defaming or insulting homosexuals. The first after she shared a Bible verse on social media, aimed at Finland's Lutheran church for promoting the homosexual lifestyle. In my tweet, I directly cited Romans first chapter and verses 24 to 27 and posted a picture. A passage which condemns homosexuality. Finland's attorney general has now opened a second investigation concerning a 24-page pamphlet that Paivi wrote 15 years ago about biblical Christian marriage called Man and Woman, He Created Them. Biblical teaching that the Finnish constitution says it supports. So you thought that because of that, this this investigation wouldn't go anywhere, as we said. Yes, from. yes, yes. I yeah. I, I I assumed. In fact, I. It was a surprise for me that there is even a police investigation about that case. I wouldn't have believed it. Leif Namala is editor of a Christian newspaper and a TV host in Finland. It was unbelievable. It was a real surprise, and uh, the first thought was. Are we really, are they really going this far? The Lutheran pastor who published the pamphlet Paivi wrote on Christian marriage is also under investigation. Finnish Christian broadcaster, author and theologian Pazi Turunen says this has been a rude awakening for many Christians. Finnish Christians have lived in a very homogeneous Christian culture. It's been very easy because everybody thinks and believes the same way pretty much. And now this has become completely a new situation for us when our faith is challenged in a public square. Paivi says this all began in prayer when she felt led by the Lord to do something to wake up the National Church in Finland on the issue of homosexuality, but now fears this investigation will silence Christians. I'm afraid and I'm worried that this case, the criminal investigation, might frighten some Christians uh, to hide and to keep silent. It raises the, the threshold of saying anything in, in the public square. And in one way, I see that that's the purpose of this kind of attack, to put a high price tag on speaking your Christian mind out loud in, in the society. If convicted, Paivi could be fined or even imprisoned. And both Turinen and Namala say support for her from Finland's evangelical leaders has been weak. We could easily have 200,000 Christians saying, this is horrendous, stop persecuting Päivi Räsänen. And that would have a huge impact, but they are silent. I, I would wish that, that uh, evangelical leaders would be more outspoken and, and bold. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, there will come time when each one of us will be in front of the firing squad. Päivi says she's not afraid and believes God has a plan in this for Finland. I'm waiting what God is doing, <laughs> because when he raises up prayers, then we can know that he's doing something. Dale Hurd, CBN News, Helsinki.